In this video, we are going to learn topic 6 polynomial, subtopic 6.2, where we focus on remainder theorem, factor theorem, and zeros of polynomial. In this subtopic, students should be able to relate the remainder and factor theorem to solve problem. Objective 2 is find roots of the equation and zeros of polynomial. Remainder theorem. What is remainder theorem? If a polynomial Px is divided by the x minus a, the remainder is Pa. Meaning, we substitute the value of a into polynomial and we get a constant. So, the constant is a remainder. So, when to use remainder theorem? When we want to find a remainder without using long division or we want to know the unknown constant in the polynomial so we look how we get a remainder is pa okay from the polynomial px equals to q xd plus r and suppose we have a divisor is x minus a and from the divisor we get the value of x, that is a, and we substitute into the equation. So, if we substitute into the equation, meaning this part will get 0. That's why we have pa equal to 0 plus rx, that is remainder. That's why when we substitute the value of a, we get remainder. From divisor, we can know the types of remainder. Okay. For example, if we have linear divisor, then we will get a constant remainder. If we have a quadratic divisor, whether in linear factor or in general equation of quadratic, then we will get a linear remainder. Okay. Same as if we have a cubic divisor, then we get quadratic remainder. If we look divisor and remainder, the difference of power of x. Okay. If we have a divisor, x power of 1, then the constant is x power of 0. If we have a quadratic that is x equals to x is power of 2, then the remainder is x power of 1. Okay, for example here, let's say px equals to so qd, let's say the, uh, the divisor is quadratic in linear form, in linear factor, x minus 1 times x plus 2, then the remainder will be in form of linear, x, ax plus B. Example 8. Determine remainder without using long division. Okay. By remainder theorem, if we substitute the value of A, then we get the constant remainder. So here, we have a divisor is x minus 2, then the value of x is 2. So we substitute in the polynomial like this. Then, by substitute the value of x, then we get the answer is 9. For the question b, we have the same polynomial as a, but divide by a different divisor here. Okay, we have a divisor is 2x minus 1. Then, the value of x is 1 over 2. So, we substitute into polynomial, then we get the constant 15 over 2. So, this is the remainder when divided by 2x minus 1.